Morning guys, I am sitting at my computer desk. I woke up super late, like I slept like a rock. <laughs> if you've been following me over on my other channel, Watch Autumn, you know that like I'm coming up on some very major uh, life events and that's really been messing with my sleep pattern and my work pattern. And so basically this is the last week of this tomfoolery and I'm looking forward to get settled in a new schedule and everything like that. So I didn't really have time to do anything this morning except check on some social media and then also update my spreadsheets. So guys, I update like my diet spreadsheets every day. Like if there's one thing that I make sure I do, it's I update my spreadsheets because I'm keeping track of how I'm eating for the entire year. If you guys remember that year of keto download, it's available on my website, but I have taking it a step further and now I'm keeping everything online. I have all these formulas built in and I wanna show you. Okay, so here is the regular A Year of Keto spreadsheet. You see it has from day one to day 365 and you're able to print out and give yourself a star, a check mark. Anytime you eat keto, that way you can keep a grand total of how many days you actually ate keto for the whole year. But I've taken that a step further and I am using my year of keto formulas tab so here is what i have i've split my eating into four different categories and they're kind of color coordinated to a stoplight so that i know my status by quickly looking at it so here's the spreadsheet so far it's the same as this one just with some color coding and so all of the red days are off keto days so if you see here i highlighted this this is when i was in paris this was my wedding week just recently all of the yellow days were days that I ate keto, but it was dirty keto. So I'm going to say maybe had lots of Quest bars or just snacks and things like that. Not really clean everyday diet, but I did keep it keto. And then the light green days are the days where I actually ate keto and I ate clean. And then the dark green days are the days that I fasted. So I can quickly look at this and tell you know, overall how I've been doing. And to be honest, this is kind of reminding me of the periodic table of elements and I am here for it. Each row is 15 days. And then at the end in the total column, I put how many days I stuck to keto. And that includes clean, dirty and fasting. And I'm just gonna keep going. I got nothing coming up. We're all on quarantine. So I have no reason not to just keep eating keto. And even better, the majority of that was clean. I did have some dirty keto days. I'm gonna say these were the weekend, which I'm really, really getting better at. I'm super proud of myself and I just look forward to it continuing. And then over here is when we have all of the formula. So all of this is automatically calculated based on the data that I enter in here. And I am also rendering a graph, a pie chart, as I continue to fill in this information. So the gray part is the part of the year that hasn't been done yet. So TBD, can you believe we're already a quarter done with the year? Oh my God, first Q out of the way. And then I can see how much of that time I spent keto, whether that's clean, dirty, or fasting, and then how much of that time was not keto. So Right now I'm at 5% not keto for the year. If you remember, I said I only wanted to be at 10% not keto for the whole year. So in the first quarter of the year, I didn't used up half my off plan days. So I'm looking forward to being keto the rest of the year, you guys, up until the holidays, really. I also keep track of my weight daily. So I'm having a line chart to track my weight, but this stuff really just keeps me focused and it keeps me, you know, wanting to give myself a check mark, wanting to color code my squares green. I don't want no more red squares, okay? No more red squares. So I'm just looking forward to having more control over my time and schedule. And now I'm looking forward to eating because today is an eating day. I, can y'all see that? Okay, I see you. I see, come in here. Oh, you got your robe on for these strangers? Don't be showing everybody my goodie oh bits. My oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi, honey buns. Hello. Who are we talking to? We're talking to the, the vlog for my What I Eat Wednesday. Uh, hello, What I Eat Wednesday. Oh I don't have a God. tank top on or so. Oh my God. Stop it! Uh, <laughs> showing all them treats. Yeah. Are you married oh to everyone? God. You just oh married to me. God. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. I'm going to go check on the dogs. Okay. Milton, sit. Milton. Lord, daddy's got snacks. Whenever daddy's got snacks, nobody listens to me. Milton, sit. Milton, sit. What are you supposed to be getting me? You're supposed to get me out of town. I don't know. I'm always getting you. Milton, sit. 
Milton, sit. Good boy. Because he thinks he's going to get a treat now. Oh, oh, look at you, Maddie. Good girl. Treats all around. Same old, same old. I'm on a work call. I am late, late. I just got on the call right now. It started 10 minutes ago, but I am starting my day off with some snacks, cello wisps, and I have one ounce of almonds here. I've actually been alternate day fasting, so I am fasted right now. Let's see how fasted we are. Oh, just past 37 hours. Whenever I alternate day fast, I like to at least make it to 36 hours. So 37 hours is a goal reached. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to enjoy my snacks, meetings, meetings, meetings. And then today is taco tray day. What else is new? I, I'm sorry, you guys. I love taco tray. I'm putting it together real fancy today and I can't wait to show you. Okay guys, it is time for lunch. I'm having taco bowl. This is not the normal brand of ground beef that I buy, but hey, in these times, beggars can't be choosers. So this is just regular ground beef. I normally get, you know, grass fed, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter, okay? Eating keto, even with conventional products, is still better than not eating keto, okay? That's what I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this beef browning. I am going to use my taco seasoning, and then I'll show you once my bowl is getting assembled. Okay guys, taco tray is done and it is a legit masterpiece. Okay, so what we have here, we have a bed of lettuce. We have that ground beef, about five ounces of that ground beef with my taco seasoning. We got some sour cream right there. We got some cheese. We got some Taco Bell Baja sauce. We have some Taco Bell fire sauce. We have some tapatio. Then right here I have some pork rinds and some spicy guacamole. And then I have my Quest tortilla chips to kind of mix in all together like this is going to be amazing. This is basically my OMAD. You saw I had my snacks earlier. After this, I'll have a dessert, but this is my main meal for the day, and it's a job well done. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Oh, I just can't. I can't even wait. We have some of that lettuce with the meat. Oh, and a little bit of sour cream remnants on the spoon. All the different temperatures, all the different textures, all the different flavors. This is amazing. It's lunchtime. Okay guys, that taco tray was what dreams are made of. And now I'm gonna finish the day with a Quest bar. It is double chocolate chunk. Right now, I'm not really in the mood to make my own fat bombs. When I am in the mood to do that, the ingredients will be a lot cleaner, but these are always good to have in a pinch. Double chocolate chunk, can't go wrong. I'm gonna eat this. I forgot to tell you, I did have my Bulletproof coffee earlier today. I had two tablespoons of heavy cream. I had a cup of that chocolate almond milk. I had coffee. I had a scoop of that preferred keto collagen. Just the, the regular stuff. I didn't have any butter because I didn't have room for the calories in this meal prep. I definitely traded some butter for some pork rinds and guacamole and I'm not sad about that at all. So I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm watching Prodigal Son right now. Not great, not bad, it's something to watch. Uh, and then I'm gonna get back to work and let you know if I have anything else for the rest of the day. Okay guys, I'm a huge trash bag. I totally forgot, like an hour ago, I got a little peckish, so I had two string cheeses, you know, but I just wanted to let you know I did eat these. <laughs> And now I'm gonna finish off the day with some Jello and a Sprite Zero Ginger. Comment down below, have you had this? What are your thoughts? In my opinion, they just totally missed the mark on this. They basically took away the best parts of both Sprite and Diet Ginger Ale, which is like the punchiness of both of the flavors. This, in my opinion, tastes like watered down ginger ale. It's not super gingery, but at the same time, it takes away from the tartness and the crispness of Sprite Zero. So it's like, I don't get either of the things I like the most. I don't get the crispy Sprite taste, but then I also don't get the punchy ginger taste. Like, what were they trying to accomplish here? I don't really know. 
Comment down below, let me know what you think about it. All in all, this put me around 2100 calories for the day and seeing as I alternate day fast, that is all right with me. And here comes my husband, cause he can't stay away when the camera's on. Come on, Richard, I know you want to come on here, Richard. I know you, why are you, why are you sitting up watching me if you don't want to be on here, Richard? Anybody see him flash that big blanga blang that he just flashed right there? Oh, what does this mean? That means he's married, who is he married to? <laughs> Hello, okay, and don't get it twisted. He knows he wants to be on this video. That's the only reason he comes over here when I'm filming. That's it. That's it. Cause they can't resist the spotlight, okay? They all pretend. My mother, my sister, my husband. They're all like, okay, Autumn, go do your thing. I'm just gonna creep in there while you're doing it. What are you eating for dinner tonight, honey buns? Uh, I'm making a steak and some kale. Steak kale. and kale. Ain't that the most healthy for the sake of being healthy okay. thing that you don't ever heard? Like that's just how he normally eats. Ruffles aside, Hawaiian sweet rolls aside, his normal diet consists of like a meat and a vegetable. Okay, well we're signing off for the day. We're gonna go watch some TV. After I have my Sprite, I am going to drink some water, but I'm gonna try to end that really soon because I've realized that the sooner I cut off having beverages the better sleep i get right so i'm probably going to try to not drink anything past seven o'clock p.m uh and then we're just going to chill in hashtag quarantine paradise <laughs> bye, bye.